Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about a CHG where command in SEAL program. We will discuss how we can utilize this CHG where command and what are the needs of using this command. So here I have created one program. Let's go through that program. So here on line number nine, we have declared one variable which is named as a username and the type of this variable is character and the length of this variable is 50. So in our previous session also we discussed how to define the variables in CL and what are the different data types we have in CL program. So this is the next session you can consider that this is the next step of the session like uh, suppose we have created the variable but now we want to assign some value to this variable or we want to change the value of these variable then how we can do this. So for that reason we utilize the CHG where command which is change variable command. Okay. So let me recap few things from the previous session like if you take F4 here on the DCL command then here if we do hit uh, if we press enter again then there is one field which is called as initial value. So here we can assign the value to this variable but suppose we are not um, we haven't set anything here in initial value and we want to change the variable later in the program then how we can do this so for that uh, reason we utilize this CHG where command okay right now we are not assigning any value to this initial value okay but after we will also see that like if suppose we have uh, declared variable with some initial value so how to change that okay so let's go through the process so here to use the CHG where command we have to just simply write CHG where and then simply take F4 once you take F4, it will take you to the uh, to this screen where you can specify the first field is here for the label. So if you want to put some label to this uh, line, then you can use this label command. Okay, uh, label field, you can put any label here. This is your optional field. If you don't want to specify it, then it is also fine. Then the second field is for variable name. So as already discussed many times like whenever we are going to refer any variable in CL program we have to use this ampersand symbol so just write ampersand and your variable name so here we want to change the value for username variable and then we have one field here for setting the new value so for that you have to just simply write your string in quote as this is the character variable so I'm writing one username as texture myth and if you would if you want to like, uh, write some comment to this uh, line then you can simply write the comment so for example here I am giving it comment 1 and then simply hit enter so this is how the CHG command will look like here we have assigned some label to this it is not mandatory like you it is option for you like if you want to keep the label then it is fine otherwise you can skip it the second thing is uh, here we have we are using the CHG where command for changing the value of username variable and now the new value for username variable is texture myth and this is the comment portion and below to that on line number 16 we are simply using SND PGM MSG to display the output at the bottom of the screen and we are just displaying the variable which is username so let's compile it and try to see the output so it is compiled successfully now I'm calling it so here you can see that the output is printed at the bottom which is texture myth which is correct because this is the user uh, name we have set using CHG where command okay now see one more thing like uh, suppose at the time of declaration we have some well we have set some value to the variable in initial value so let's say here I have specified it as test okay and if you try to print this before CHG value then it should show the same value which is test so let's paste it so what we are doing now we have initialized some value at the time of variable declaration which is test then we are trying to print it so it should show test and after that we are using CHG where command to change the value and below to that we are again printing the value so what it will do it will print the change to value this time so let's compile it and see the output so it is com it is compiled successfully uh, no there is some yeah it is now compiled successfully and now we will call this program 
so first value it is showing as uh, test and here you can see there is one plus icon so we can do page down here it means we have some more value here so just do page down and th this is the second value that we have changed with the help of csg where command so this is the advantage of using csg where command like uh, if you have specified some value to the variable at the time of declaration then also you can utilize this csg where command to change the existing value so this is the use of csg where command like whenever you want to change the value to the variable or you want to modify the val uh, variable value then you can utilize this csg where command which is change variable command it is a very important command because to manipulate your data in throughout the CL program you have to use this command so for this session this is all about uh, we want to uh, discuss and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare Myth.